when you're dating, first and foremost, look for someone who values a dollar the same way you do. That doesn't mean date a rich person. That doesn't mean date someone who doesn't have debt. It just means date someone and eventually marry someone who values a dollar the same way you do. If you've come to the point where you're already really in love with this person, you're starting to build a life and you're having disagreements, I think there needs to be almost like a boot camp day where you get fully financially naked with each other. We are more comfortable getting physically naked in front of a stranger than we are getting financially naked. Yeah. <laughs> with people that you've probably you know lived with and people that you love and people that you've been with for years. So get fully financially naked, talk about your savings, talk about your debt, talk about your investments, talk about any sort of financial hindrances, whether that's alimony payments, child support, anything that's hidden in the closet. In my mind and my advice to most people, is consider a yours, mine, and our strategy. I think that's a smart approach because it sort of like inhibits or prevents resentment that can build, right? Like, yeah. oh, like you're spending too much of our money, whatever, right? 